Seamus. And Andrew Matheson for Double Coverage 2013 Prep Football Edition. And we are taking a look at the Aptos Mariners, the two-time SCCL uh, League champions. You're my boy, Blue. And uh, we caught up with Coach Randy, head coach Randy Blankenship to talk about the upcoming season and team. Aptos High School should be a pretty good football team this year. Uh, we've got two returning starters on offense and and two, no, three on defense. And uh, but we got a lot of young guys coming up. Uh, we'll be junior dominated on defense and senior dominated on offense. Uh, Alex Joe's our quarterback. He's a junior of the year last year, and he's a whole lot better than he was last year. Uh, defensively, we're junior dominated kid. Uh, defense and two of the well, the two best linebackers we've had since we've been here, Dante uh, Gomez and Austin Verdugo. I mean, as a pair, they're they're really good. I think this year we can finally play some defense, and I'll be really disappointed if we don't come out of the gate playing really good defense. I, th I think uh, we're going to be extremely physical and fast defense, uh, led by those two inside backers in our safety. They, they can fly to the ball, and, and when they get there, they arrive in a bad attitude. So uh, the biggest problem is that uh, we've got to respect everybody we play and uh, understand that everybody's going to come after us, and we've got to be ready for them. Ah, ah. Well, like, we have a lot of talent coming up from the JV as, long, as well as, like, talent that stayed down from varsity last year. And we're just, like, put together. I think it's going to be a good team because we went undefeated last year. We have people on the team that went undefeated last year, and then we have the JV team, which went undefeated too. So both of us put together, like, with the talent that we both have, I think it's going to be a good season. Uh, we have a lot of experience on this team. Uh, a lot of these kids played last year during the playoffs, and uh, we had – eight sophomores last year on the team so we got kids that know what it takes to win know how hard they have to work and they just know what it's like in the games hey, with defense looks pretty good this year I feel like we're we're faster this year I feel like uh, we don't have a whole lot of big guys, but we got a lot of quick guys that are able to get inside and make plays. And we had a lot of sophomores that played on defense last year. We're going to be juniors this year, so we have some experience. Yes. And we know that Coach B is going to find 11 guys that know how to play their position and that can we can play as a team and do well. In terms of the league. Go! All right. I think our O line is going to be better than last year's. I mean, we did lose a couple key players on the O line, but I think we replaced them, maybe even more. Yeah, like every day we're working really hard on, on the offensive line to get better each and every day. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be better than last year. And even in the weight room, we're hitting, we're hitting the weights harder than we did last year. What do you think? Last year we were pretty good. But, I mean, this year, just a, a whole line of seniors, that's it's, it's experience it's kicks in a lot. And what's this? I don't know. Wait, what do you guys think? Let's set your hands. Everyone thought that was good? No, I thought it was pretty much. I'm just going to break this one. <laughs> <laughs> a line on me, a line on three. One, two, three. A line. Now, of course, uh, last year's uh, prognostications that we did, uh, we, were ba we didn't pick Aptos to win the league title last year because they had two guys coming back on offense, four guys coming back on defense. They were completely, you know, senior, senior heavy team the year before. This year, same difference. I mean, it's, they got, what, two guys coming back on offense this year, three starters on defense. They have a total of 30 varsity returners, but very few returning starters. And have we learned? Have yeah. we learned? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Aptos, you fooled us. You fooled right. us once. Yeah, shame um, on us. It's it's such a well-oiled machine at this point. The freshmen, the JV, the varsity—they all run the same system, all have the same terminology. I was out at practice one night, and they looked 
I'm sure there was stuff that I was missing, but they looked like in mid-season form running their wing T offense. So they hit the ground running. They All hit right. the ground running, of course. Well, yeah. who's leading the show? Leading the show is, of course, Alex Joe, the Again. quarterback. He was last year's junior of the year. He's now a senior. Funny how that works. Um, and he is uh, much more developed. He's, he's very fast, which we already knew from last year. But he can throw the ball uh, pretty well as, as well. He much improved in that, in that aspect. Nice. Um, I know they did a little bit of that last year, trying to stretch the field a little bit, but he's much more developed in that uh, in that regard this season. Right, who's um, who's going to help him in the backfield? Well, we got Eli Ungrich, who's coming back as well in the uh, in the fullback role. Um, and uh, with Aptos, like every week, there's 12, 15, 20 sometimes rushers. Yeah. It seems like that run the ball. So. Louis Demacel, Austin Verdugo, Ungaric, Greg Burr, Open Michael Chavez, book. Charlie Mel, CJ Pistorino, Ricardo Medina, and that's just naming a few. <laughs> um, yeah. they're, they're, they're always got loaded backfield. We know this every year they got now. Some big boys up front, and that's why they had the number one offense in the league in terms of yardage and points scored. And on the other side of the ball, they're probably going to be equally dominant again, right? I mean, they're the lowest points allowed. and the top defense in the league. And yeah. they have a, the man child, the preseason man child, and Dante Gomez, right? Yeah. Linebacker, tight end, 6'1", 230. I interviewed him one night. I had to stand up straight because I felt short. Um, he's a big boy. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a big, he's a big guy in that, back, uh, in that linebacker role. And um, he could be seeing some little play calling, him and Verdugo. Nice. Randy Blankenship kind of likes what he sees in them. And uh, they could be making some plays, which is a big responsibility for a high school player, obviously. Joe will be doing the same a uh, little bit as well at the quarterback position. But, um, you know, obviously we talk about Scotts Valley kind of being a team to beat this year. Aptos has to be right up there Yeah, as well. Aptos is who we're going to go, go with the defending champ. They look great. And yeah. That's, and our, that's our guy right now, I think. Right? Yeah, and we were fooled last year, and I feel like at this point... It's you didn't fool us! Well, maybe hopefully not. It's Aptos's crown until someone beats him. That's what it is.